Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at how you can insert mermaid diagrams inside your Azure DevOps wiki. This is a fairly new feature. If you like the idea of creating diagrams using code, check this out. We'll show you how it's done in just a second. Okay, so we'll start out here. I've got a demo project going on. Uh, nothing in this project really, so we're just going to bounce over to the wiki. It's a brand new wiki, so we got to create our first page. We'll just call this diagrams. We'll come down into the content part of the, the wiki here. We're going to go up to the toolbar and you'll notice there's this toolbar button up here called insert mermaid diagram. Click on that. They'll insert a very basic diagram just to kind of get you started. Uh, this is typical mermaid syntax here. It slightly tweaked for the Azure DevOps wiki, but for the most part, you know, it's standard mermaid syntax. And you'll notice even though we got the, the code for the diagram over here on the left, you don't see it over here on the right. You actually have to click on this load diagram text here to get the diagram to show up. So I'll go ahead and click that now. And you'll see we have a very, very basic flowchart showing up here. We've got wiki supports mermaid and then a link here for more syntax. So just for fun, let's go ahead and copy this link here out and I'm going to go open a new tab with that link and this is where you can go to find all of the the syntax for the various mermaid diagrams so for example we're doing a flow chart right now you can see for example uh, graph LR means left to right and then essentially you can set up nodes with text and so on and so forth I'm not going to go into all the the syntax of mermaid in this video I'm actually going to save that for another set of videos coming in the near future uh, for now, just know that that link is available and I'll put it down in the show notes as well. Um, you can go out and find all the syntax for mermaid if you're not already familiar with it. So go back over here. You notice for a mermaid diagram to be created inside of Azure DevOps, you start out with this basic tag, which is three colons followed by the term, or the, excuse me, the word mermaid. And then the type of diagram we're going to create. In this case, it's a graph, which is really just a flow chart. LR again, left to right. And then you can do things. Let's go ahead and remove this. So maybe you want to do node A to B and then B to C, for example. Then if I come over here and click load diagram, notice we get A to B to C. And maybe I want to do right to left. Click load diagram, notice it goes the other way. And maybe you want to do top down, so on and so forth. You get the idea. So you can do um, flow charts inside of Azure DevOps using Mermaid. I'm going to bounce over here and copy something to my clipboard, something a little more elaborate. Okay, so we'll replace what we had with something a little more involved. Notice we've got more nodes now, B, D, F, you know, A, B, D, D, F, F. Click load diagram. So you see this diagram is a little more elaborate. And actually, if you look at this flow chart, it's actually a, a flow chart showing you which diagrams Azure DevOps supports for Mermaid. Not all diagrams that Mermaid supports is supported in Azure DevOps. In fact, right now, um, as of the recording of this video, there are only three uh, chart types or diagram types supported, and that's the flow chart, which is what we're looking at now, Gantt chart, and sequence diagram. We'll look at both of these here in just a second. Um, there are other charts, for example, pie charts. Um, class diagrams, so on and so forth, that are not currently supported by Azure DevOps. So you can see you can get a little more elaborate with these. Uh, I'll go ahead and copy in some styling just for fun, just to show that you can also apply some styling to these things. Fill colors to the various elements in this chart. So if I load that now, now we have a little color to our flow chart. So you can make them look pretty nice. And, and there's other um, styling things or styling choices you can use as well. And again, if you go back up here and start looking through the, the documentation for Mermaid, you can find out what all of those are. So they look pretty good. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and take a look at a Gantt chart inside of Azure DevOps. So I'll go ahead and paste that down here. And it looks like I've got my syntax a little messed up there. There we go. 
click on load diagram so now you can see we've got a Gantt chart in here if I click up here we'll have the flow chart as well as the Gantt chart and then finally let's take a look at sequence diagrams and let's go ahead and load that one so you get your basic UML style sequence diagram as well so again right now uh, only these three basic diagram types are supported within Azure DevOps I'm hoping that down the road Microsoft will choose to fully implement Mermaid. I honestly don't know what their plans are there, but it would be really cool um, to see that happen. And if you're curious, right now over in GitHub, GitHub does not support Mermaid diagrams either, at least not natively. There's some add-ins you can use in your browser uh, to make that work, uh, but it's not an inherent feature. In a future video I'll do um, a little more in-depth dive to Mermaid and a couple other diagrams as code type tools just to just to get a feel for what's available out there now if you like doing your diagrams as code but for now just know that you can do diagrams within the wiki in Azure DevOps also if you're curious um, the markdown files within Azure DevOps like for example if you're in a code repo so let's just bounce over here I'll go ahead and discard these And let's add a new file in here. Let's call this diagrams.md. So let's create a new markdown file. And I'll go ahead and paste this in. And the downside is that markdown files within your code repos do not um, work with the mermaid syntax, unfortunately. Not, and again, I don't know what Microsoft plans are there. I don't know if they intend to support mermaid within all markdown files or if they're just going to keep it strictly to Azure. Uh, wikis. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Maybe this is a feature you weren't aware of and now you know it's there. So if you like this video, please hit the like button below and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when uh, new videos come out. And thanks!